As one former UN Secretary General has commented, the environment has long been a silent casualty of war and armed conflict. Research has documented the undeniable connection between conflict and environmental harm. A study in 2018 found that wildlife populations in Africa were stable in peacetime and declined during wars. Worryingly, there even appears to be a pattern between conflict zones and the location of areas of environmental value. It has been estimated that over 90% of the major armed conflicts between 1950 and 2000 occurred within countries containing biodiversity hotspots. There are various ways in which conflict damages our environment and climate. Firstly, conflict generates significant greenhouse gas emissions and leads to the pollution of our land, air and waters. Militaries require high usage of energy and fuel, and it's estimated that they are responsible for 5.5 of all global emissions. The Conflict and Environment Observatory has concluded that if the world's militaries were a country, it would have the fourth highest carbon footprint in the world, behind China, the US and India. Wars also lead to pollution through the use of chemicals and other hazardous materials that leach into soil and water. Ukraine has estimated that Russia's invasion has caused 11.9 billion euros of damage in soil pollution and 25.5 billion euros in air pollution. The effects of this can last long after the conflict has ended. Secondly, wars can lead to major damage to landscapes and habitats. This is a result of military movements, the use of explosives, the loss of systems of environmental protection and displacement of people. According to the Cost of War project, more than one third of Afghanistan's forests were destroyed between 1990 and 2007 as a result of harvesting by refugees and illegal logging by warlords. Aside from seeking world peace, what can be done to mitigate the harmful effects of war on the environment? Solutions may include diplomacy, reparations and restoration. For example, nature restoration can attempt to reverse destruction caused by conflict. In Mozambique's Gorongosa National Park, civil war has led to more than 90% of the area's large mammals being killed. Since then, intensive restoration has seen millions of trees planted and more than 100,000 animals thriving, transforming a former battlefield into a haven.